more. I'm on it. Today's episode, the 19th hole is a shallow grave. Act one, under the windmill's shadow. He's getting away! Biggie, I'm on it. Looks like somebody slipped up. Officer, my comic! The Ice Resurfacer! The Unequaled U-Mans, number 76. This was Mint. It is now near Mint. Oakman is better than the U-Mans anyway. The U-Mans are the next stage of evolution, the ultimate humans. Oakman is a guy who is part tree. Please, get this pathetic human out of my sight. I'm just lucky you were around when this whelp tried to steal my comic. Great Caesar's ghost, where is everyone? The whole school's either at the French Club's Napoleon Lookalike Contest, or the Mini Masters. I'm too tall for the contest, and well, I'm not a big fan of the mini golf. Things are correct, and here at the X Middle School Mini Masters. Coming off the 17th hole, it's the favorite, Cousy Shotwell. Four strokes ahead of last year's champion, Ian Chilton. And it looks like he's gonna run away with this thing. All right, my boy Cuzzy's making things happen. Cuzzy? Uh, hello? It's his caddy that's taking it to the hoop, Chief. His caddy? Don't you grasp the silent cues? The quiet support? The subtle gestures that indicate the hole breaks left? Only thing I see is a kid with a custard stand on his shirt handing Cuzzy his putter. Of course. You're looking with your eyes. Start seeing with your heart, Vallejo. Fillmore, this is good stuff. Aren't you the least bit interested in the Mini Masters? I'm not so big on the Mini. And so, we reach the 18th and final hole, known simply as the Peg. Not an especially challenging hole, more of a gimme, really, to cap an amazing round by Cousy Shotwell. He's the last one up. Two strokes will win it. It's looking like it's headed directly towards the peg. Bad break for Cousy Shotwell. What the? Did you see that? Sometimes you hit the peg, Chief. Not Cousy Shotwell. Oh, I'm not liking that shot at all. Hey, my Indian food! What the? Did you see that? Yeah, I did. With my heart. Whoa! I don't think Cousy Shotwell has taken a shot that bad since he got a tetanus booster in the biscuit basket. Oh, my. With that out-of-bounds penalty, Cousy just snatched defeat out of the jaws of victory. That's it. Ian Chilton wins. Ian Chilton wins. And the big question the ex-middle school mini golf community has got to be asking is, what is going on with Cuzzy Shotwell? You know what? We're gonna find out. Fillmore, third. Cuzzy Shotwell? We'd like to talk to you about the match this afternoon. The way you played that last hole? Some people are thinking it looked a little funny, man. Funny? Funny how? Like someone may have told you to throw the match? I don't know anything about that. Cuzzy, your specialty is bank shots, man. I mean, if the 18th had been a loop or a windmill or some sort of hilarious obstacle, we wouldn't be here talking to you right now. Listen, man, if Steph's going down, we just want to help. You want to help? You can shove off. Cuzzy, if something's wrong, the only way to make it right is to talk about it. You feel like doing that? Give me a call, man. I think we got a definite maybe towards something fishy going down. Yeah, but a definite maybe is a definite maybe not, too. 
Only other angle is sabotage. Someone messing with the green. Man, Simon, tough break. But I guess you've been having tough breaks all day. You okay, Fillmore? Yeah, sure. Wow, Fillmore, nice shot. Ingrid, there's nothing wrong with this green. You were right, Vallejo. Something stinks with X Middle School mini golf. It's looking like our boy Cuzzy threw that match. Now, we could investigate Chilton, maybe see if he's in cahoots with someone, or we could let that someone come to us. How? The X Middle School Open is in two weeks. We could send a patroller in undercover. If they do well, that someone's gonna come knocking. So, who do we send in? Fillmore. I said it before. Mini golf's not my bag, Ingrid. You sank that ball on the 18th like a pro. The stuff you knew about Cuzzy, how you were checking out that green, you know mini golf, Fillmore. Really? Is that so? Vallejo, I don't want to do this. Hey, we need you. As of now, you're undercover. I don't want to see you in this office for the next two weeks. You practice. You could have asked me how I felt about it before you put me up for the gig, Ingrid. You've never turned down an undercover job before. What is it about this one that's so rough? Look, it doesn't matter. Vallejo says I have to represent, so I will. End of story, all right? No, Fillmore. There's more to this story. What is it with you and mini-golf? That's my business. Oh, didn't know I was dealing with tortured Fillmore today. My mistake. It's cool. Late. Act Two, The Obstacle of Memory. It went in. Oh, Farrell, man, what are you doing here? The very future of X Middle School mini golf is at stake. You need to do well. You need Caddy O'Farrell and his magic bag of puttering. Danny, I've been training for two weeks. Two I weeks? Wow. I've been training my whole life. This graphite putter is specifically excellent for bank shots. This quench aid is mango onic ice, your favorite. This towel has a 400 thread count, maximum softness and absorption. Don't mess with me, baby, I'm the best. Oh, Farrell. Fillmore, it's my dream. Toss me the quench aid. <laughs> Happy now? Boom ya! Yeah, boo ya! Yeah, hiya, hello! I'm Chris Minnesota, and this is the X Middle School Open! A two-day affair to ferret out the greatest mini-golfer in our fair school. And leading off the unranked, unseated players is Cornelius Buenavista. Now the key to this hole, avoiding the pendulum. My haiku for hole one. The green, flat and quick. True follow-through is the key. Confident ball, clunk. The vibes on this putter mock windmills. Send it home, brother. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Buena Vista has dropped his putter. 
Oh, a smart move by Buena Vista. He felt the rain coming and saved his putt for a drier time, which will hopefully be tomorrow when we pick up where we left off with the X Middle School Open. Smooth move with the H2O, see? I'm headed in. Wet tweed smells like dog. May we converse? Converse away, baby. The gentleman to whom I am an employee congratulates you on your surprising performance. He has a proposition for you. Keep talking. He would like you to intentionally lose the tournament. That's so. You'll be rewarded handsomely. Plus, if you cooperate, there won't have to be any unpleasantness. You give me a sit down with the gentleman to which you are an employee, and I'll see what I can do. Impossible. That's my number. You want me to take a powder? You make it possible. Did you hear that? Yes. Yes, I did. I got a call from one of your boys. Told me to meet you here. I'm glad you understand the secrecy that I require for these communications. Let's just get to it. Let me ask you this. Are you with us in this endeavor? Why don't you explain it to me? You'll back off. Let others win. And there won't have to be any unpleasantness? Four. Freeze! Ex Middle School Safety Patrol! We're bringing you down. No more threatening people to take a fall. Who's threatening? I'm Ham Beaumont, president of the Mini Golf Happy Squad. The Mini Golf Happy Squad? They organize volunteer mini golfers to play rounds with the elderly. I received an anonymous phone call that Mr. Buena Vista is whooping all the senior citizens. I was just meeting him to suggest he back off and let others win. I had no idea it was so wrong. <laughs> Officer Fillmore? Cuzzy? Listen, I just wanted to tell you- Who's behind the corruption on the ex-middle school mini-golf tour? We'll go ahead, Cuzzy. Please tell us. We're all waiting. Cuzzy, come on. I didn't think so. Do you really think whoever that person is got this far being sloppy? I wouldn't tangle with him, officers. He'll crush you. Of course, I don't know how much will be left after Falsam gets through with you. Ham is her nephew. Anyway, have a nice day. Cuzzy, aren't you leaving too? What's your game, Biggie? Oh, no game, officer. I'm just a fan. Act three, three strokes to redemption. Silence! Uh, we weren't talking. Hmm, you weren't talking. My anger was displaced. It's as if it needs a proper channel to be fully expressed. Let's see. Oh, right, the reason you're here. Ham. Ham is my nephew. Ham is the kid you traumatized! Effective immediately, the safety patrol is to suspend its mini-golf investigation. I blew it. You blew it? I could have pressed Ham to say what he meant. I'm gonna skip the after school shift and head home. If you wanna talk, you're not gonna wanna talk. How'd it go? Oh, much worse than badly. Folsom closed the case. That's it. We lose. Well, about that guy, Biggie, we did a little research. He's a seventh grader. Cocky. Thinks a lot of himself. Supposedly, he has the largest comic book collection in the school. And it's getting bigger all the time. According to the local comic store, his comic book bag, board, and box purchases have spiked after every major ex-middle school mini-golf tourney. Why? Because he's running comic book bets. He buys the supplies for all the books he wins. Word on the street is, if you want to bet comics, he's the one to see. Even though he's been rigging the ex-middle school mini-golf circuit so he never loses. And with Buena Vista out of the way, Biggie's put his whole fortune out on bets. And it looks like he's gonna win big. Great. I feel your pain, Ingrid. I too have had my hopes dashed. 
Why, with my superior caddying and Fillmore's adequate play, we could have won the Open. What? Talk. I'll start. So Biggie's behind it all. He makes his bets and rigs the matches. And now we can't touch him. Oh, we can do more than touch him. We can stop him. How? Folsom closed the case. The case is closed, but the Open's open. What? The second day of the X Middle School Open kicks off tomorrow, and it's your putt. Biggie has his fortune out on comic book bets all over town. If you win the Open, Fillmore, Biggie loses everything. I can't do it. Why? Remember what you told Cuzzy? If something's wrong, the only way to make it right is to talk about it. Well, Cuzzy chose to quit instead. He punked out. Just like you. I'll see you later, Fillmore, because I know I won't talk to you later. Ingrid. These notches are six people's lives I've ruined. It was in sixth grade, back when I was a delinquent. I had always been good at mini golf and I decided to throw in with the school team. But because of my little discipline problems, I wasn't even allowed to try out. Since they didn't let me try out, I decided to stamp them out. All of them. I challenged the whole team to a match, betting each one of them everything they had. CDs, video games, their trophies, you name it. It wasn't about the swag. I only had one thing on my mind, destroying their game. Ingrid, mini golf is 100% mental. I played the holes to break them. I made it look like the greens broke differently. I swung my arms slow but hit fast and made it look like the windmill was standing still. They didn't know what hit them. I beat them so badly, so completely, it's like there was nothing of them left. I took them out. They never played the game again. And until this case, Neither had I. Fillmore, that was a long time ago. You did something harsh, and it hurts. That's how you're paying the price for it. But don't make other people pay that price. You are the only one that can take Biggie down. You're the only one who can stop him. You don't, and you might as well put some notches in that putter for all of us. Greetings, go heads, and welcome to this, the second and final day of the X Middle School Open. Ah, there's nothing sweeter than a hot, fresh churro with powdered sugar. Save, perhaps, winning a mint copy of the U-Man's number 76 off some poor sap. <gasps> Who dares? You okay, man? You look white as a sheet. What are you doing at the open, Fillmore? I've heard the case is closed. Oh, I'm not here as a safety patroller, Biggie. I'm here as a player. Now, tell me this. <laughs> you think that makes me less dangerous or more dangerous? See you on the greens, baby. This is it. Buena Vista is but one stroke behind Chilton. If he can catch an eagle, Buena Vista completes the mini golf upset of the century. But he has the 18th hole to contend with, a hole known only as the Vert Green. So treacherous, golfers are required to wear a helmet. Big finish, see? Don't just go for the match-winning eagle. Go for something special. Backspin, see? Put on a show, and that will lead you to redemption, brother. Quenchade? You're about to be permanently put out of business. Why are you smiling? I was thinking about you. Hey, what are you? An authorized replica of Torellian handcuffs, the strongest in the galaxy. But this is an official match. There aren't any do-overs. If, say, you shouted and broke Fillmore's concentration, well, that would be just too bad. 
Or if, say, a person at the snack bar got careless with a chutney at the exact same time someone on the street blared an air horn. Crackers. open under false pretenses, and his name isn't even Buena Vista. He's a safety patroller. Biggie Clement has been bribing, or in my case, threatening other golfers to lose to Ian. Fillmore joined the tour to stop him, and he has. Fillmore didn't just win the open, he saved the open. He did something, and it's time that I do the same thing. How many of you good people want to help me escort Biggie back to safety patrol HQ? <laughs> Hey, those Tyrolians make great cuffs, don't they? What are all you guys doing here? We all got a call from some girl named Ingrid. She told each of us to meet here to pick up something we lost. What is this about? It's about me being sorry, Simon. Elmore? Here's everything I want off you guys. With interest. What do you want from us? A chance to make things right. That. It may be a game. A game? Just for fun? Yeah, man. <laughs> Just for fun. <laughs> 